first, let me take a sip of my Nespresso. All right, I am here with my sister-in-law, Tina. Hello, hello. We're at Sabres and Rocky River That's in right. Cleveland, and we are ready to get our shopping on. It is freezing. Oh, I'm so cold. For this, even for this Vegas but girl. Even though, even though we're freezing, we're still in holiday wear. Yes, so. yes, we gotta see. Because we're gonna, we're gonna kind of ugly sweater it. Although hers is more ugly than mine. Mine's just bedazzled, hers is like fun, you know, pearls. like probably you know, 2001. Which is so, so. fancy for you. It's like know, fancy right? grandma. <laughs> Cruise wear. There, there we go. That's a dazzled cruise wear. That's what my mom would always say. Oh, I can wear right. it on a cruise. I'm right. like, I ain't going on a cruise anytime soon. <laughs> Only if I'm playing mahjong or something like that, right? <laughs> so, okay, the most important thing is that we don't tell my kids that I'm here because they will just flip because they love coming to Savers. They love thrifting with Aunt Crystal. I find such cute little art supplies for kids. These are just like stamps that my daughter would love. She's two, so that's awesome. I've been needing a little pill thing for my vitamins and meds. Is that perfect? I was going to go and buy one. They're usually like 6 to $8 a piece, and I'm going to get this whole thing, which I probably won't use the better breath nasal stuff, but um, very cool. I'm excited. So is there anybody out there who just loves pens? I'm always looking for a really good pen, so I'll go in here and I'll kind of look through. This, these are pretty much all school supplies, but I'll kind of like shuffle through and find, oh, maybe I might hit the jackpot and find a cross pen or something. I saw this one, I was like, ooh, maybe, maybe that's something fancy. It has an S on it. Let me see, it has an S on it. I'm like, oh no, that's, that's, that's just for the Sheridan Hotel. Sometimes those hotel ones, especially when we were in Vegas, the casino ones were some of the best to write with. In the comments below, I'm curious, have you ever found like a really nice pin at a thrift store secondhand and how much was it compared to like how much it should have been? So doing really good. I have made it to the dishes section. Oh, this is so pretty. It's like not me, but it is me, but I already have plenty of stuff. There's some about the color. Some about the color I don't really love. Like I like it, but I don't like it. I think that's one of the funnest parts about thrift store shopping. One of the funnest parts about thrift store shopping, I think, is that you can try on different styles, whether it's for your home or in clothes. And if you don't like it, you're not adding more waste to the world. You tried it and you didn't like it and that's okay. Not neat. Um, yeah. This might be fun on my colorful Christmas tree that I do and I'm working on, kind of like a candy land. $3, I think I can handle that. I filled an entire cart and I got a whole bunch of stuff for the house and Christmas and I'm excited to show the haul and then now I'm going back in because I filled the cart like I wasn't going to push around two carts and so I filled the whole cart, went and put stuff in my cart, now I'm going back in and of course I gotta wait in line again um, but it's cold, it's like 30 degrees so this little Las Vegas girl's blood needs to thicken up because I'm freezing. It's always lovely for us curvy girls when they say that it's a dress and you're like um that would barely cover my curvy butt. That is a shirt. Sears, the fashion place. So fancy. That is not my kind of vintage. At Sabres today, I spent about $130 on my first trip through the store and filled the, filled my cart. And then the second trip through the store, it was a little less than 100 I think it was $92. And I did something I usually don't do. I bought a little bit better items and spent a little bit more money. Because I said, you know what? I got plenty of clothes. If I find a few things here and there that I like, I'll spend a little bit more money on them. So instead of finding a sweater and only spending $4, I spent $8. But you'll see when I, we do the haul how awesome it is. And it was totally worth $8. Um, so 
we had a really good time, me and Tina. And then her kids got the gist that we were at the thrift store. So the kids came out and they just thought their mom was at the thrift store thrifting without them. So they were not very happy. So their father dropped them off after school and we all thrifted together. And they showed up, they had no idea I was with their, their mom. So we all went thrift store shopping, it was a lot of fun. And Tina was just so impressed by, she made out like less than $200 for her and the kids and all the fun stuff they bought. And they had a load of stuff too. It was just so much fun and it's the treasure hunting and we had a wonderful time, so. There's one tip I have before you go thrift store shopping or junking, I call it junking. Even if you don't find any good stuff, you've at least had a great coffee. So if there's any time you treat yourself to some good coffee, if you're not a spending $5 on a latte person, you're gonna save a lot of money at the store. So get yourself a good coffee. And like any mom, we live on caffeine. So uh, yeah. All right, I am gonna first of all show you everything that I got from two stores. And then we're gonna go on and do just the Christmas stuff. So we'll do regular house goods and then we'll do the Christmas stuff. I get to buy stuff for a whole new house. Before we left Las Vegas, during the pandemic, to move back to Cleveland, Ohio, we sold everything and I really didn't have much decorated in the first place so I have been really excited to make a house into a home and I have a lot of stuff and I did really good everything from cute little tchotchkes that mean something to us to lamps I've, I've been doing really well so this is two different stores so my sister and I went to a thrift store in Mansfield. It's called What's, What Goes Around, which is so cute because it's across the street from a carousel. What Goes Around. And the other place was Savers, one of the Savers here in Cleveland. So let's start with Always Buy Picture Frames. This one was a half off day. This one is humongous. And it ended up costing... I kept the price tag on it. It ended up costing three and a half dollars. Half off that. So we have picture frame one. Picture frame two, Aaron Brothers is a really great company. Still in the plastic. So I don't care too much about the metals. It just needs to look good. So I am gonna do mixed metals in my house. I do prefer um, more of a muted gold like the last one bronze and this kind of cute silver so always buy picture frames the other one that I ended up getting the other picture frames that I got were from the one in Mansfield and they ended up being about a dollar a piece that's the other box but um, I also got this one just a cute little it's a chalkboard and because I'm kind of a scrapbooker scrapbooker slash mixed media I enjoy. I have the, instead of using chalk, I prefer the chalk marker pens. Um, so there's not chalk dust everywhere. So I'll be able to use that. It was $5. So I got this one. It was only $5. Kind of that brushed metal again in really good shape. I know on the camera, it looks like it might be dented up, but it, it looks great. It's really a good one. Glass is real thick and good condition. Um, the only thing that was wrong with it was looks like somebody when they hung it up on the wall They're like, well, I don't need that part and they just snapped it off. So that was five dollars Even when you buy them at like Hobby Lobby when they have the buy one get one half off or the buy one get one free They're still pretty expensive. So always buy good frames. You will find a reason to use them. I Don't know quite yet what I'm gonna use these for so we got three of these matching ones for a dollar each and then I got this one for a dollar now this fits a four by six and this one's gonna be smaller but I mean you could use it you could print up little scenes little pictures I have a beautiful uh, dietitian picture that I just purchased on Etsy that I could print up and put in there just really pretty 
So that is always nice, little gifts or something. My daughter's room, she loves fish. She, her two huge movies right now are Moana and, her two huge movies right now are Moana and Lilo and Stitch. And then she also loves Nemo and the Dory. So we are doing her room in fishes. And I found these, they're not actually hand done, they're prints, but they look like they're watercolor. I mean, they actually look real, but the way I can tell that they're not is that they're prints is because there's printing on the back. Earl Thalander is the artist and those are just beautiful. Curtains are so expensive. So blackout curtains specifically. When we lived in Vegas, we found that blackout curtains are the best. So we do either one of two things. If we find a blackout curtain that's heavy enough, that's in the right color that we want, we'll just use that as our curtain. If not, we'll do the dual curtain idea where it's the blackout curtain you hang and then above and a, li a little bit higher and in front of that, you do the curtain that you, um, you want the color of the room. So I got these, they're usually pretty expensive. So they were half off, they were $12.99 and then they ended up being what, six and a half dollars or so. And um, they're brand new, still in the package. I probably, you know, I'll wash them before we hang them up, but otherwise they're brand new. I also found some books for my kids. My daughter's two and a half and my son is like four months, so he'll grow into these. But my daughter specifically, we got her for some of her Christmas books. We like to buy a whole bunch of Christmas books or seasonal books as they come up in the seasons, especially around Christmas. And I had a seek and find Christmas, you know, like the Where's Waldo kind. She's so good at it and she's so proud of herself for being able to find these things and she absolutely loves it. As far as I'm concerned, whatever gets them into a book, I don't care. If that's what it is, that's what we're doing. So at this age, they love the pictures. I was able to find like brand new, absolutely beautiful Elmo and Friends. Now, I was a little catfished because the price sticker was over this part, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of tape and put it on there. It's for my own children. It's not a gift or anything. It's not a thrift miss. Uh, so we're gonna use that in the car to go to grandma's on around Christmas so that she has something new to look at. This one, I'm not too sure if my daughter's quite ready for this. If you have a toddler or have had one, you know the more words, the less they're gonna pay attention, but the pictures are amazing. So I'm really excited about that, but eventually she'll get into it. We are family and it has little things in here about family and little just cute, kitschy things about what makes a family and a team. This one's beautiful. It's by Crossway. It's a Christian publisher and it does the ABCs, but tells you about God's story in the Bible and his love for us. It's a beautiful book, beautiful pictures. One of the hardest things to find, I think, at a thrift store in the book section is pop-up books for kids that are in great shape still. So that Pirates one was in perfect shape and this one is just beautiful. So it has these moving parts. So it's not really a pop-up book, but it has the moving parts. Wait, and then this, you open and it moves. I mean, it's just beautiful. And there, if you love a nursery rhyme, a treasury of classic nursery rhymes, just absolutely beautiful. This one's so sweet. They have the castle cuties, so the palace pets from Disney, but the whole thing is that each one of their pets is hiding. So cute. And then these three books came, they're beautiful. I love DK Publishing books. They have great artwork in them. They are really sturdy books and these were in perfect shape. I have a feeling that a grandma gave it to some kid and the kid was like, uh, too young for me, not my style. And I got them just for a steal because at Savers, they're buy four, get one free. And then they're also half off on Mondays. And then here's another look and find it's for princesses. Now I, there's no Moana in there. It's the, what I say, the classic princesses, right? But, um, she's just gonna love it. And then our family 
lot, my huge Italian family I moved in, I, I married into, moved in with, yes, I'm living with my in-laws. This is why I'm in the basement. <laughs> uh, we love playing games. So one of the games that I got was Pokino and mixture of poker and Kino coming from Vegas. This makes sense. And it looks like it's a brand new set. It's got the 12 cards. It's got all of the pieces left in here and you can tell like it's not bent up. You know how if a game, especially this old, is well loved, like there'd be pieces missing, they'd be filthy, the plastic would be bent. I almost threw those all over the place. So yeah, I got us. It's from the US Playing Card Company. Just a beautiful little thing. Just got to put a little tape on the side, but I'll keep it in the same box. Talk about a classic. Alrighty, next. I love anything that looks like milk glass. I bought a few things that had needed a little bit more elbow grease than I prefer to invest in. So I took this and I took, it's this little guy here and I took this guy, beautiful piece, and I put them in a bucket full of water with some Dawn and about an eighth of a t an eighth of a cup of bleach. Set it there overnight. I at no point scrubbed anything, and I pulled it out the next day, and it looked like this, just absolutely beautiful. And no, that's not dirt on the bottom. That's just more of the yellow paint because we know it's paint and not part of the glass because the bottom is solid. So don't pass up a good pair of lamps. Unless you only need one lamp, always make sure you buy two. So these were a little bit more expensive than I usually pay, would pay at a, for a lamp in general. Is it? I don't know. I've never really bought lamps before. I bought one pair of lamps and they were like real vintage, so I spent $100 on the pair. And I'll have to show you that some other time, but, um, these were $16 for the pair and I think they're beautiful. They've got that gold. Uh, they even came with the light bulbs. I told my husband that and he's like, oh good. Anyway, so those are pretty. Next up, when you're serving steaks or pieces of meat and you gotta, when I see somebody as a dietitian and really about food safety, I see somebody stab the meat and then they take it and they run their finger down the blade and they put it on their plate and then they put the thing back. This, you stab the meat, you bring it over to your plate and it pushes it off. It pushes it off. That is so awesome. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. And it was a dollar. Beautiful. I make this delicious, they call it like 16 clove garlic shrimp. And when I make it, I make it on the stove of course, and then I bring the whole pot over and I like to put it on my table. And then we all kind of like get the juice out of it. And it's kind of like a communal pot idea and everybody gets their shrimp, but the juice itself that we end up sopping up with all the bread is so good. And I don't want to really separate that from the shrimp. So we put it on the table and this is a beautiful thing that I can put that on. It's cast iron, it's from the brand Le Cruzette, which is gonna last me forever. And it was $2. Sing song, you know I'm excited when I sing song it. Like Fenton glass, and I really like more of the pastel colors. And we found this, my sister and I found this at the antique store right across the street. And it was only $9. It was the antique store right across the street when we were at the Mansfield thrift store. And it, you know, has the Fenton on the bottom. It's so cute. I just, I adore it. It's adorable. I found these at the Savers. So they say if you find two, get them. But if you find three, you really got to get them. So I just think these three, that beautiful gold, this reminds me of the designs in henna that women get put on their hands and lower arms when they get married. This is probably something somebody got from Pier One Imports or something a long time ago. And it is now mine. Once again, obviously reminded me of India. And my good time I had there. As a mom, if you find safety lock anything, just buy it. 
at a thrift store, especially when it's brand new in the box. These are expensive. When my husband and I were looking for these originally, they were like $9 a piece or something. And they help it so your kids won't be diving into the pantry or walking in when you're trying to take a poo. So if you have those kind of handles, which we will, because I like those kind of handles, these are gonna be awesome. And I bought them for $1.50 a piece. Another place at the thrift store I always like to look is like the art supplies section. That could be in the tchotchke bags. It could be kind of like randomly with the glass stuff. So this makes a good segue into the Christmas because in one of the things that I saw, there was these little Christmas shapes and cutouts. There was this brand new, you can tell if you do stamping or any type of craft work, never been used. There's no stain on it at all. Brand new stamps of um, snow. So I found that this was a dollar. This was in a bag along with, oh, here's another snow one. So it's one of those rolling ones and you can do strips of snow and I have these snow. Well, another thing that was in the tchotchke bag with these, the stamps, were these cute things, which are great for toddlers because their hands and their dexterity they're little stamps, so you could use them. What's great about these kinds, because they're that foam, they could use them with paint. I've actually even used them with water outside in the summer, and it just, you know, evaporates. So they can use it. How fun. Make sure and subscribe and like and, you know, do all that stuff. Find us on Instagram. Bye.